Today I'm going to show you how to make something that looks similar to the ribbon spikes on this bow. I'm not going to show you how to make the bow and everything, but I'm just going to show you how to make these adorable ribbon spikes. You could put them on flip-flops, you could put them in your hair, pretty much anywhere. So um, stay tuned if you want to learn how to make the cutest things ever. Okay, so you're going to need a few things. You're going to need um, a marker that's easy to see on your ribbon. You're going to need scissors. Tape. It doesn't matter which kind you use, just as long as it'll come off your ribbon or paper. Any kind of ribbon you want to use. Make sure it's um, pretty close to the same size, but it doesn't have to be the same size. It just makes your ribbon spikes look much neater if they're the same size. A piece of paper with the middle marked and need a needle and thread with a knot at the end. Okay, so that is everything you're going to need. So let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to have to do is whatever ribbon you choose to use, um, you're just going to cut that um, as long as you, um, like, however long you cut it, like, say you cut it four inches, that's how wide your ribbon spike bow is going to be, four inches wide. And so I'm just going to cut mine three inches because I don't want my... Uh, my ribbon spikes to be too long, too wide. So just cut all of your ribbons the same exact size. And it doesn't matter if you're like the smallest part away from being the same size, just as long as they're pretty much the same size. And what I like to do, right, um, I just put it against my measuring board and right at the three inch line, I just take my marker and make a little tiny dot there so I don't have to keep it against the board at all times. So that's when you're going to use your marker. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you how to make the little um, V shaped part at the end of your ribbon. On the thinner ribbons that I cut, that you cut, if you're using thin ribbons, um, you don't have, it's better to not do the little V's because it's harder and it barely shows up. So I'm just going to put that aside and just do it on my thicker ribbons, which this is an inch wide. And these are three-eighths of an inch wide. Okay. So you're just going to fold this in half horizontally or long ways. And then you're just going to cut the sides of these from the closed side to the open side. So it turns out like that. Okay, and another way to cut um, your ribbon spikes is like if you want both sides of your spikes even, then you could fold it in half vertically and then fold it in half again horizontally and then cut it diagonal. You want to have stronger scissors if you're doing this because, of course, it's going to double it up and make it thicker. But that's how you make your ribbon spikes even. Okay, so when you're done cutting all your ribbon spikes, I like to line my, my spikes up and make sure they're all even. Okay, and so when you're done cutting all of those, you're just going to take a lighter and heat seal the ends. And if you're too young to be using a lighter, 
then or you don't have a lighter then you could just go ahead and take a clear coat of nail polish and then just run it against the sides it's pretty much the same thing okay so I'm just gonna put those aside real quick and then you're gonna take your piece of cardboard or colored paper or make sure it's just pretty strong paper and then you're just gonna take your needle and thread I'm using upholstery thread because it's really strong and it won't, won't break and I just um, tied a little knot at the end and then you're, as you can see I marked I folded it in half like that so it made four even squares and then I marked the middle with my marker so I know where the middle is okay and I'm just gonna put the needle through the hole not all the way just a little teeny bit is sticking out then you're gonna take a piece of tape and then with the part that's sticking out you just wanna tape that down and you're taping it down because we want this to stay we want our needle to stay straight up for when for what we're going to do next and then just make sure your threads out of the way there then take your other piece of tape and tape down the sides and take another piece of tape and tape down the other so it doesn't move and neither will your needle I usually like to start off with my thickest ribbon so it'll be at the bottom and then you're just gonna fold that in half and make a crease by just pressing down really hard on it for a few seconds and then unfold it and you can see a crease and then fold it in half and then right in the middle of the needle, stick the needle right through your ribbon. And um, you're probably like, why is um, the ribbon folded in half? When you take it out, it's just going to look like it's not folded in half. It's just in the middle, it looks like there's a crease, so it looks better. So that's why you're going to fold it in half. Okay, and then you're just going to do the same with your other piece. I'm just going to fold this in half, make a crease, unfold it, and then fold it vertically, and then put your needle right through the middle. And you don't have to lay it out in like a specific way. Just, it doesn't matter, because at the end you're going to be, you know, pulling it and stuff and making it how you wanted it. And then just keep on doing that with the rest of your ribbon. And for the smaller ribbon, you don't have to fold it in half. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so fold it in half, make your crease, and then unfold it, and then just put it on there without folding it in half like you did this because this is already thin enough so it's going to be pretty hard to fold it in half so just do that until all of your ribbon have been put on the needle and um, I've cut six pieces of ribbon you could cut as many as you want if you cut more ribbon on this one I cut eight so as you can see it's pretty thick so I'm going to make this thinner so I cut six pieces. So I'll get back with you guys when all of my ribbon is on my needle. Okay, so I'm done putting all of my ribbon on. And then you could just spread that out to make it look however you want it to. So it's like that. And then just pick up your piece of paper gently. And then while pressing that down, flip it over. And then take off your piece of tape like that just put it off to the side and then 
take, flip it back over, and then take your needle, okay, and then just pull it, and then just keep on pulling, and then your paper will just come off like that, okay? So it's like that. Then just wrap it around about three times. Okay. And then secure it with a knot. And I like to just go through the middle and then it comes back out the other side. And then Okay, so after you have secured it, just zoom in. Okay, like that. You're just gonna take your scissors and then you're just gonna cut the extras. Okay, so it looks like that. And then if you want it to look like it's in a circle, then you could just go ahead and pull it and spread it out and stuff. And you could unfold your thicker ribbon, like I am doing. And just spread it out however you want. And then maybe you could like attach it to flip flops or attach a little alligator clip to it and put it in your hair or do whatever you want to it. It's just cute however it is. And for example, like just to finish it off, just put a dot of glue right in the middle and then put a matching rhinestone and then this is your finished product. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it helps you out in making really cute ribbon spikes and yeah, just do whatever you want and make it your own. So thank you for watching. Okay, so this is just an example of what you could do with your um, ribbon spikes. Um, what I'm going to do is um, first I'm just going to put a dot of glue on my flip flop. Okay, so there's a dot of glue on there. And then I'm just going to put my bow on top of that dot of glue. And then just press it there. Okay, and after you've done that, to secure it, I'm just going to take a um, needle and thread, tie a knot around it, and then just keep on going around. You could do this without the needle, but I just find it easier to do it with the needle. Because it just, you could go through small places and stuff. Okay, so I've wrapped that around about four times. And then I'm just going to put my needle through um, through the ribbon spikes to secure it like that and then I could go ahead and cut my extras and then I could glue my rhinestone onto there and then you're finished.